Hello everyone. This is Amber Two Thousand here. Welcome to my channel. Well, I play a variety of games and do new relations for fanfics. I'm really hoping you you enjoy my content. If you do, make sure to comment below. Leave a like. And subscribe with the lower case and so on. Right, until next time, this is Amelie2000. Welcome to my channel. So, hi. It's a viral life, chapter 13. It would be a year after his gruesome deaths before I met someone who and he had come to like. This is Will nowadays. With his cool Will, he didn't have time to make new friends. And in all honesty, had no desire to make any. But that changed when he entered the body with San Diego zookeeper, Jack Olson. It had sorted out normal. He had decided to take a once in a blue moon break from his career and decided to wait a few weeks. It turned out to be a good idea in the end, otherwise he would have never met her. A few days after entering the body, Trust found himself sewing down the streets of Jack, humming and spinning his black and purple blue chain around his wrist. Jack was in charge of the hyena exhibit in the San Diego Zoo, so he often got bit by the sharp teeth animals. Trot had always been somewhat fascinated by the underrated animals. There was the fact that they could eat about anything without getting sick, and that they had the hardest bite of a carnivorous animal. They could crack a thick bone in half and eat it as well. Trot's thoughts on hyenas disappeared when he came upon the back of the, the white ham. He soon saw a large warehouse. There were several germs and even some cells were gathered. Off to the side was a large wing, constructed only from several crates in two cases, one on each side of the pen facing inward. Most cases were off to the side. This was a dog fighting wing. Try to recognize one of the germs standing by a large crate, partly covered by a tarp. He was dressed like a cowboy, complete with a cowboy hat. He also held a cane. He had a look that said he did what he wanted, when he wanted, and how he wanted. Trust grinned and strolled on over, humming, louder than usual. He caught the germ's eyes. At, at first, a blink work. Then a returning grin spread on his face. Well, if it isn't Lava Missouri Woda, he exclaimed, laughing. How goes it? Pretty decent, Trust cuckled in response, standing behind, beside the case. I, just, I decided to stop by here and maybe take a little break. After all, I still got a ways to go before I hit the middle boats. He heard the train, so it wrapped around his fingers and ordered up, swallowing off his prizes. The germ, Matt Palmer, just laughed and cupped the, the virus on the shoulder. Same as always. Trash old pal. Same as always. Hey, you all here got me a new fighter? Not that I know of. We haven't seen each other for about ten years. He's waiting here. Palmer aggressor at the cave behind him. Trash worked down, then crossed down to get a better work. Inside the cave was a thin working hyena fever drum. He had orange fur. She had orange fur with red ears, spots, eyelids, and flaming legs. Her mane and tail looked like yellow flames. Her suspicious eyes were pale yellow, and she had short pink claws. The hyena was laying down with one front paw on top of the other. When Trash was crushed down beside her cave, she lifted her head, poking her ears up. She grazed royally at Trash's train, 
which was swinging on his wits and at his, and at his claws. Then she stood up and growled, bearing her teeth, sharp white teeth. Instead of being imitated, laughed. Instead of being imitated, laughed and stood up. She's a real beauty, he commented Palmer. I like the paint job. Yep, you got that white dress, Homer said replied. I trained her and she's been fighting for me for a year now. Trust raised his eyebrows. Really? Huh, I'm impressed, baby. How you find her? The only animals inside a human body were cats and dogs. And maybe some rats. An exotic animal like a hyena only appeared in the animal bulb body of its species. Unless it was specifically imported to the human body. And even then, they were usually in, in a zoo, not a dog finding wing. She was wandering around town. I found her when I was walking his horn, my previous fighting dog. She beat him real good. I toughened her up more, of course. He puffed out his check, looking very proud of himself. A hyena snored up at him, growling deep in her throat, when another drum, while another drum whispered something to Palmer. Tuss studied the hyena some more. So it looked very thin. He could see her ribs and hip bones poking through her fur. She had some pale, bald patches of fur, and he could see bite scars poking out from under the remaining fur. To his other sock, he saw some old whip scars among them. Has he been whipped? She snarled up at Trash when she saw him working. But there was more than hostility in her eyes. Trash saw fear in those pale yellow eyes. Fear was in his own during his abusive childhood. Has he been abused? He knew dogs were treated badly during their, during their lives in the fighting wings, so that was a strong possibility. Yeah, We got us another fighter! Homer yelled out in glee. Now that now you be you'll you'll be now you'll be able to see to see the fa framing death in Aston. Framing death? Tras repeated. We see an eyeball, not exactly what I had in mind. Palmer paid no attention to him as he crushed down by framing dust case. We got us a sore one, frame! Or you all to get real mean and win this one, you hear? He stood up with poker and the nose where his cane. This immediately sent her into a frenzy. With a wild growl, she tackled the side of the case and stuck her arms out between the bars, calls framing, and tried to stress the germ. Her mane was wide open, and her teeth were bare as she roared fiercely. It's only made Palmer laugh. Yeah, that's what I got, I'm talking about. Trust stepped back once the uh, once at uh, Trust stepped back once the hyena's anger. I don't think you're supposed to do that. He commented, gazing between framing death and the cane. Hey, she's my hyena. I can do whatever I want with her. Palmer sniffled, walking away. The hyena laid down with it, with a hump. Trance walked back down to the hyena. Not too far in the fighting life, huh, baby girl? He asked, crossing by the case again. Can't say I'm a, I'm a fan of your fighting name either. The hyena worked up at Trask. She twisted her, her lips as if threatening to sew them again. And she still had the aggressive and fear in her eyes. Yet she listened to Trask speak as though she was another virus. She looked as though she understood what he was saying. More than that, her eyes looked as though they were pleading. Help me! Get me out of here! So I think Trask just showed up and took his sunglasses out of his coat. Go cook a gunawina, he said as he put his sunglasses on. Hand in his pockets, he wandered off. 
Had he looked back, he would have seen the hyena gaze at him before laying her head back down on her paws. Later, as the fight was beginning, Trot sat on a crate on the outside of the arena, crossing one leg over the other. At first, he hadn't really wanted to watch the fight. He wasn't as specific about dogs or dogs like creases, like hyenas, as he, as he was at it as a kid. But he still liked them. He didn't care to see them fight until one, e one eater gets injured or killed. But Palmer had been a good friend when he was still in school, and the fight would also give them the opportunity to kiss up. He glazed from the cage with the flaming desk, which was covered in the tarp, to the opposite cage. This one was bare for all to see, and could see a small drum dog with a shrill jaw. What could think this would be an easy win? However, something told Trask something would go wrong. That sick feeling in the pit of his stomach that warned him of his father's death and the murder of his family. Palmer is a germ friend, a tall, thin white green germ with black clothing, including a shiny jacket and a dirty bowler's hat and a Spanish accent. Stood on one clay above the chattered crowd. Gentlemen, I'm free! He shouted, silencing the crowd. Oros, dos, trace! The cage's jaws were lifted and both animals billowed out. Immediately, f Flaming Death pinned her opponent to the ground, going for the throat. He pushed her off in the, in the chest and bit her left foreleg. Its teeth had pierced her chin. As he began to bleed, the hyena pulled her leg frantically, but the dog held on tight. Then she grabbed his foreleg in her mouth and pulled hard. He let her go and kicked her away in the stomach. Her mouth stripped off of his leg, and she crashed into a crate, blood on her teeth and oozing out of her answered way. Get up, flame! Palmer yelled, hitting the cane. Flaming Death had crashed into with his, with his cane. Get up and fight! Grazing her legs, he stood up and tossed towards the dog, aiming once again for the throat. She managed to grab the dog's neck and her jaws. The shields exacerbated. Tress walked on with expectation, but really she wasn't doing any, anything more. She seemed to be using strengths. I don't see the muscle. She was so thin, she didn't have enough energy to fight, and it was costing her. The dog managed to turn his head and grab Faming Death around the neck. He, he bit down with more power and lay there as her mouth was removed from its neck. She so lay there and Trask could heal her over the chills for the winning dog. The bills and Palmer's cussing, he could heal her yiping in pain. The dog ignored her as though as his jaws were good on her neck. The next thing he knew it, Trash stood up from the crate he was sitting on, kicked the crates, shaping the wiener to the side, and swam over to the animals. And knowing the yells aimed towards him, he let his burner crawl and stuffed it into the side of the dog. He let the hyena's neck go with a yipe. And knowing the dog as it always bubbles, Begun forming and popping on its fur, killing it. Trust turned to flaming death. Her inner's weight and bitten neck was still bleeding. Emily, she would bleed out. As she stood there, her eyes were funneling shut. Bending on one knee, Trust gently lifted the hyena into his arms, stood up. He fully expected her to be light, as she was so very thin. But it still swallowed him that she weighed next to nothing. And he could feel her bones through his jacket and sweater. Palmer! He yelled. You better get a daughter darker, quick! Or you, you, you're gonna lose her! So money under his breath. Palmer walked amongst the crowd, asking for a doctor. Finally, a female cell walked through the crowd. So it looked like a well bird cell. Get her into the warehouse, now! She yelled. 
not seeing anything, Trust followed her into the wheelhouse, still holding the unconscious hyena. Hi, hi everyone. This is Emma 2000 again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Because, you know, I, I really did enjoy making it. But... So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe with the notifications on down below. Till next time, bye!